Um, so just to say my Kundalini activated two years ago when I did some Joe Dispenza meditation. At that time, I didn't know what Kundalini was and it hit me. And um, I was trying to heal some digestive issue by doing some meditation. And so since then, I've had a lot of spontaneous kriyas. I experience that every day and I let them run. Uh, you know, I do like maybe two hours a day of that. Anywho, I realize I have a lot, a lot of blockages everywhere. But I would say my main blockage, it seems to be in my stomach. And it seems to me that it has to do with lack of self-love. And I want to ask you this because I know you, I've watched videos of you talking about you also, I think, had problems with self-love and you started doing a meditation and you said that, if I understand well, that kind of completely awoke your kundalini and, um, and you had a full kundalini awakening. And it seems to me that this is what I really have to do is I have to really love myself. So I was wondering, and I know everybody has a different path, but how long did it take you? You know, you, you were doing these meditations about self-love. How For how long did you do that? And what did you do? And how long until you started really feeling that self-love for yourself? Okay, great. Yeah, so my journey has... Uh, uh, it has been fueled by this practice of self-love. So thank you, Catherine, for sharing. I, I appreciate it. I think we can all relate. So I'll speak briefly. On my channel, I do have a couple talks. One is called How to Actually Love Yourself or Self-Love Guide, something like that. I can't remember. But um, in short, I describe it as self-love is not, you know, going for a, a, you know, getting yourself a latte or something like that. That's fun and you can do that stuff. When I speak of self-love, I mean, quite literally, in my practice, I put my hands on my heart and with each breath, inhaling and exhaling, there is an orb of light in my heart that with the inhale swells up and on the exhale, it moves up to the top of my head as well as the bottom of my feet. And every aspect of my being that that light touches, a thought, a body part, a chakra, a blockage, a memory, my mind, every aspect of myself is recognized as parts of the one spectrum of divine light of all that is. Nothing is excluded. Nothing is pushed away. Pain is welcome. Violent thoughts, scary thoughts, demons. It's all welcome. It's all absorbed into that light. And that is how I love myself. I offer love, which means to me, the recognition of whatever is touched by this light is part of the light. So I did this practice, uh, which by the way, I learned uh, through, I, I sort of adapted and and sort of made own uh, the teachings of Matt Kahn, whom I love in, like so much. He's helped me so much. And of course, he's gone through Kundalini Awakening as well. He doesn't talk about it too much, but Matt Kahn's work is, is absolutely incredible. And he has a book, it's called Whatever Arises, Love That. And that's basically what it is. Whatever's arising is being loved. So I did this practice. Now, this may scare some people, but I did it out of need and desperation for like two, three hours a day for years. I'm not saying that you have to do it for two, three hours a day for years, but this is just what I did because it felt good. It was healing is what I needed. I didn't say I'm going to do this and then eventually, you know, have a Kundalini awakening. I was just loving myself because I recognized that I was in a deficit. I was in debt. And so one thing that Matt says is you may not feel it immediately. And it's when you start loving yourself in this way, it may feel like nothing is happening. And the reason it feels that way is because you're in the red, you're in the negative, you're in debt. And so you have to keep paying off the debt and loving yourself. Eventually you'll break even, you'll get to zero. And then from there, it starts to build up and you can really feel it. So that's why it's important to commit to this. So that led up to my awakening. It triggered the awakening itself, like the massive explosion up my spine. And then it is what I did when all of the dark things were coming up. I just kept going and saying, oh, painful memories from my past, trauma, pain, abandonment, jealousy. Oh, it's all welcoming. I love you. I love you. I love you. And like that, it was released. So um, this is what I did. 
everyone will have a different experience. Some of you, you may put your hands on your heart and just take an inhale. And before you even say, I love you, you're already having benefits. So everyone is different. It all depends on what we, you know, bring to the table in terms of our, our karma, our background, et cetera. But uh, I invite you to check out the talks on my channel. I have one uh, that specifically breaks down the, uh, the spectrum of light that I'm talking about. Everything exists on the spectrum. And if we recognize it, that's love. On this path, there is nothing to be excluded. It's all one, right? It's all one. So even the dark things, the painful things, if we have maturity and say, yeah, you two are part of the light, even though you're ugly, uncomfortable, that's love. And it's very, very healing, very healing. So thank you, Catherine. Thank you.